What is good, boys and girls? Fallout here, and today, in honor of D2's newly released cross save, we're here to talk about the Spare Rations Hand Cannon. You see, if you're one of those folks possibly traveling from console to PC, you're going to want to keep an eye out for this hand cannon. It is pretty popular in PvP on PC, and a smooth ride for people with good aim with a mouse. If you play on controller, don't worry. It may not be on the easy to control level as Luna's Howl, but it's still sick in the hands of a player who has learned how to master the recoil. Why is this gun so hot? Well, let me tell you. It's a 150 RPM hand cannon, meaning if you're an accurate SOB, you can give your enemies the old Halo 1 pistol treatment. Three to the head, and you know they're dead, which clocks in at a time to kill of 0.8 seconds. That's pretty quick. On top of all that, the Spare Rations has a bunch of great roll options, a true double threat in the land of PvP. Now, if you're looking to grind for this gun right away, quick heads up, your best shot is by playing the Reckoning and killing the likeness of Oryx at tier two difficulty. I think Bungie mentioned that they're also improving the drop rates in the Reckoning with a new patch coming in September, so you might wanna wait until then if you wanna preserve your sanity. But hey, we're Destiny players. We don't have a whole lot to preserve to begin with. Quick side note, there is a curated role for the spare rations, but that can only be obtained by playing Gambit Prime and by banking over 50 motes in a game. The curated role definitely isn't bad, it's the only way to get explosive payload on the gun, a perk which I'm warming up to lately, and with the combination between overflow and appended mag, you can get a ludicrous 29 bullets in your mag with the curated rations. That's not what we're here to talk about today though. We are looking at everything else that can drop on this weapon, so that when Reckoning Loot Rate Fix comes in hot, all of you can hit the ground running and know exactly what it is you're looking for. The PvP Spare Rations God Roll. Let's kick things off by checking out Column 1, way over on the left hand side. Barrel Options. Now you know a lot of people don't care too much about barrels, but they should. You and I, we both know that. So as you might remember, the best barrel options for a hand cannon are any that give you range, which contributes to both your damage drop-off point and your weapon's overall accuracy. So any barrel that doesn't give you range, kick to the curb harder than a cheating X. Too real fallout. Arrowhead break, polygonal rifling, chambered compensator, and fluted barrel can go right to hell. Now some of you might be wondering, hey, is stability okay on a hand cannon? Eh, it can reduce the harshness of your hand cannon's kick. So if you're having a lot of problems with extreme weapon kick, small bore could be an option. I'm just gonna say it though, be a man. Learn how to control the kick on your spare rations and dial it up to 15 with full bore. Maximum range, baby. The drop instability and handling don't bother me, but if it bothers you, Eh, just hope you get one with hammer forged rifling, I guess. But let's move on over to column two. We got a lot of choices here, but at the end of the day, there can only be one Highlander. Based on what I said earlier, again, we want range. So extended mag, alloy mag, flared magwell, and appended mag can take their trash elsewhere. Now, even though on paper, each of the remaining four mag perks offer five range, there is one that stands above the others, and that is Ricochet Rounds. Even though it has a 5, it's a well-known fact by crazy weapon people like me that Ricochet Rounds actually gives you noticeably more range than even that, outperforming weapon perks like Accurized Rounds, which give you 10 range. If you don't believe me, I got a video on Ricochet Rounds. Check it out if you want to see what I'm talking about, or you can just take my word for it. It is the Tier 1 Column 2 weapon perk without question. If you end up getting Armor Piercing Rounds, high cal rounds or light mag, it's not really a big deal. You can still get a little extra range, which is fine, but the true winner here is now and forever ricochet rounds. Next up, column three, and we have seven options to choose from here. As is tradition, let's weed out what we don't want right away. And uh, oh yeah, I'm looking at you, auto loading holster. Having your weapon auto reload in your back pocket is good, but way better suited for single shot nade launchers, rocket launchers, fusion rifles, shotguns, etc, etc. Definitely not primary hand cannons. That's what we call a waste of a perk. Get that trash off my lawn. Subsistence. Eh. 
Kills partially reload your mag from reserves, which is nice, but you limit your reserve capacity, which is weird to me, and also I think we can do better. Field prep. Increased ammo, big who cares, on a primary hand cannon, but faster reload, stow and ready is nice, but not when you're crouching. We aren't crab walking around the map out here in PvP with a hand cannon, boys. Threat detector. I don't think so. Perks like Threat Detector really work best on weapons that encourage you to dive into a mosh pit of enemies, which you can kinda do with the spare rations, but probably would be way better suited for a shotgun. Fourth times the charm. Rapidly landing headshots will return two rounds to the mag. Okay, that's not bad per se. If you're accurate, you should be getting mostly headshots anyway, meaning this perk would give you free rounds directly into your mag. But I think we can do a little better. And with that, we are down to the final two. Snapshot and Rapid Hit. You know, I really hate it when it comes down to two perks that I really like, and I really like both of these perks. Snapshot we've all been familiar with forever. Lightning quick ADS speed, which is always appreciated. Rapid Hit, though, gives you better stability and more importantly, better reload speed after landing rapid headshots. I'm gonna say right now that if you get either of these perks on your spare rations, you should be happy. As badly as I hate to turn my back on Snapshot though, I might have to give it up to Rapid Hit, especially after we talk about the perks in Column 4. Again, don't scrap a Snapshot rations if you get one, but if you're asking me, Rapid Hit is the truth in Column 3. Which brings us to Column 4, and Dear mother of shacks, there are eight friggin' perks to choose from, and holy crap, so many of them are good. Why, Bungie? I know I'm complaining about too much of a good thing, but I feel like a dog whose master just threw a dozen tennis balls up into the air. Which one do we go for? Oh well, gotta start somewhere. Let's weed out the trash. <laughs> Hip fire grip on a hand cannon that isn't the last word, with all these other beautiful options. Yeah, that's like going to a Michelin-rated steakhouse and ordering chicken nuggets. Hard pass. And as much as I hate to say it, that's all the trash in column four? I mean, slide shot is also kind of bad, but just here, not in general, only to everything else we have on the table. Sliding partially reloads your mag and gives you more range and stability. Now, normally, that's a fine perk on a primary weapon, but dear lord, look at everything else that we have here. Let's divvy this up into two categories. First, let's touch on what we call the safe options. Those are going to be rangefinder and moving target. Now, those perks aren't going to give you huge playmaking potential like the other ones we're going to talk about, but those are great great, safe options. They'll always be working for your benefit, giving you better target acquisition, giving you better range, making your gun a tiny bit deadlier no matter what. In small 4v4 games, or hell, even in 3v3, which by the way is on the horizon with Shadowkeep, rangefinder and moving target are solid. Less enemies means less chances to take advantage of big damage buff perks, so again, if you get either of those two perks on your gun, I say hold on to it. Now, Moving on to the final four of perks, I'm going to be 100% honest with you all. Column four on the spare rations is literally what inspired me to make my most recent video, which compares all four of the big damage dealing perks that we have left on the table right now. I cannot believe that this gun offers all four. I don't think I've ever seen that on a weapon before. Anyway, if you want the super in-depth details on each of these perks and their numbers in PvP and PvE, check out my video that compares all of them together. But anyway, I think if you're looking for a spare rations for PvE, you'd probably be pretty much good with anything here except Kill Clip. Rampage, Swashbuckler, and Multi-Kill Clip are just insanely good at dealing damage in PvE. Rampage and Swashbuckler can have their duration extended indefinitely, and while we're on that perk, Swashbuckler ramps up to max power with just one melee kill, meaning it could actually be pretty okay in a PvP capacity. But we're here to talk about the definitive PvP god roll, so based on that, I think Rampage is out. It offers a maximum of 30% extra damage, same as Kill Clip and same as Swashbuckler at its peak, but it's much harder to ramp up 
to full power in PvP with Rampage. Swashbuckler requires a melee to get the max buff of the 30% more damage, which is fine, but I think it gets outranked by Kill Clip, which just needs one kill with the weapon, and then boom, 30% extra damage for five seconds. But that being said, multi-Kill Clip is really hard to ignore. The 800-pound gorilla of Column 4. I don't know if you know this, but multi-Kill Clip in PvP has three levels of damage, 21% at level 1, 42% at level 2, which by the way outranks Rampage Kill Clip and Swashbuckler, and at level 3 offers a 63% damage buff. The duration is also 5 seconds long per each level of damage, dear god. So yeah, even though it's not going to be often that you get multi-kill clip tier 3 to activate, even if you only get tier 1 to activate, that's a flat 20% damage buff, and tier 2, again, 42%! Better than every other damage dealing option on the table at their peak. That is officially insane, and if you're looking for a weapon with a really, really high ceiling for destruction potential, you want multi-kill clip. It's like fishing with dynamite. Again, at multi-kill clip level 2, you are able to put out one 196 damage with two headshots from the spare rations, meaning that you're actually able to two-tap some guardians in PvP with a 150 RPM hand cannon, depending on what their resilience is. Don't say I didn't warn you, that perk is nutty. Moving on to the masterwork, I mean really, do I even need to say it? Range. Duh. And as of late, a bunch of people have been asking me to also recommend a weapon mod for each gun that I cover in the God Roll series. I don't want to make these videos too much longer than I have to, but I can give quick recommendations for those asking. On the spare rations, a uh, targeting adjuster is the very easy and safe choice if you feel like you need a little extra help guaranteeing those headshots. A good backup option is, well, backup mag. A few extra bullets in the gun never hurt anybody. Uh, except the enemy. Icarus Grip is an option if you're a twitchy, jumpy, d-bag little hunter who loves to jump over people's heads, but for the most part, I would say that targeting adjuster or backup mag is the way to go. With all of that in mind, I think today I have two god rolls for you. The basic one for people who want to play it safe, which I will call the high floor roll, and the extra god roll for people who are looking for big play montage clip potential, which I will call the high ceiling roll. So let's review you, God Roll A, the high floor roll, full bore, ricochet rounds, either snapshot or rapid hit in column 3, either range finder or moving target in column 4, and a range masterwork. And for the high ceiling God Roll, for players looking to pop off, full bore, ricochet rounds, rapid hit in column 3, multi kill clip in column 4, and a range masterwork. And that's all she wrote. When the September drop rate patch comes out, get into the reckoning and farm away. Again, the good news is there are a lot of good options in column 4, so even if you don't get the god roll, your chances are great that you'll get something really beautiful and almost perfect, the Ryan Reynolds roll. If you liked today's video and want more content like this, please click the like button and sub to my channel if you haven't already, because, well, I am slowly attempting to take over the world and I I know you definitely want to be a part of that. Check out the other videos in my God Roll series, and if you have a weapon that you would like to see the God Roll for, please let me know by telling me down in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.